and it can be happy. Small amounts are like very happy things, but most are associated with either a personal emotional trauma or also with natural disasters. The most common symptoms are chest pain and shortness of breath. Takitsubo cardiomyopathy often mimics heart attacks. Electrocardiograms may show ST elevations and blood tests often reveal elevated troponins, just like a heart attack. Takitsubo cardiomyopathy is frequently discovered during cardiac catheterization to check for blocked arteries. However, blocked arteries are not typically seen in Takitsubo cardiomyopathy. They come in with a sudden onset of these symptoms of chest pressure or palpitations, weakness, feeling terrible, just like they're having a heart attack. But on exam, it turns out the arteries are normal. It's not a heart attack. It is this Takitsubo cardiomyopathy. Takitsubo is thought to be caused by surging stress hormones such as adrenaline. And it's totally biologic. I mean, it's, it's stress hormones, it's inflammation caused by those emotions in our brain. Anybody that has these types of symptoms of chest pressure, pain, palpitations should go to an emergency room immediately and be evaluated. And it's important that this occurs more frequently in women than men. Some stressors associated with Takitsubo cardiomyopathy may include death of a loved one, divorce, domestic violence, financial loss, public speaking, and natural disasters such as earthquakes. It's very moving taking care of these people when they have that realization that this emotional event is what caused their heart. I had one gentleman who was talking with him and his wife about, you know, that this is what we thought the diagnosis was. And I said, have any emotional things going on? And they looked at each other and they both started sobbing. We lost a baby. And I mean, it's just like a real, I think, moment for people of recognizing that heart-mind connection and what it can really, you know, do to us. And yes, even good shocks, like a surprise party or winning the lottery can trigger Takesubo. How frequently do you treat patients for this condition? What are typical outcomes? I would say I see a case at least twice a year. You know, in a case that's bad enough to be admitted to the intensive care unit. This condition can cause sudden cardiac death and is associated five to 10% of the time with sudden cardiac death. So again, if you have symptoms, go to the emergency room right away because if you wait too long, you may not make it. The syndrome may also be mistaken for a panic attack. If you have symptoms like this, it could be a panic attack, which can cause palpitations and chest pressure. Um, it's important to get checked out. Panic attacks tend to be recurrent and less severe than this. So obviously, check in with your doctor if you're having any of these symptoms. There are no standard treatments for Takesubo cardiomyopathy. Heart failure often develops in this syndrome. Treatment may include diuretics to remove excess fluid. Other treatments may include heart medications with beta and alpha blocking actions and ACE inhibitors if blood pressure are stable. Most of the time we can just take the patient in the hospital and they'll recover um, with time and supportive care. Anticoagulation is generally withheld due to a small risk of heart muscle tear caused by Takitsubo.